interject. This will be really brief because it yeah. just happened while you're here, and I'm hoping that maybe by the end of the briefing, or certainly like within the next half hour after, okay. you can get an answer. Yeah, sure. And that is that Secretary's friend, Mr. Hammond, has been appointed to be the Chancellor of the Exchequer in Britain, and his replacement as Foreign Secretary has just been announced as Boris Johnson. How do you think um, this will affect, or if it will affect at all, uh, both the U.S.-British relationship uh, in the diplomatic area, and also um, is the secretary is this someone the secretary thinks that he'll be able to work with given his previous positions? Well, look, I mean, we're always going to be able to work with the British, uh, no matter who uh, is occupying the role of uh, foreign secretary, uh, because of our deep, abiding, uh, special relationship uh, with the United Kingdom. Um, you know, uh, and we congratulate uh, Foreign Secretary Hammond on his new role, and we look forward to uh, engaging with Boris Johnson uh, as the new uh, Foreign Secretary. This is something, frankly, that goes beyond a relationship that goes beyond uh, personalities, uh, and it is a absolutely critical uh, moment in uh, certainly uh, England's uh, history, but also in the U.S. UK relationship. So absolutely, we're committed to uh, working productively going forward. You, you don't have any concern because this administration, both the President and, and Secretary, took a, a very different line on, now granted it's not their country, but Mr. Johnson led a movement that, uh, that the, this administration fundamentally disagreed I, with and thought was a bad idea. And I, all of that has been discussed, <laughs> obviously, in great detail. Um, but the British people voted, and they voted to leave uh, the European Union. And now our focus is on the future. Right. Can I go back to the 